Hello guys, I am Shahzad and welcome in lecture number 4. Today we are going to discuss about the semantic elements in HTML5. You know very well that uh, HTML5 has introduced some new elements or some new tags in HTML5. So you always write something like this. Your h1 and your span. Your span close. This is the span tag. Okay. Here is the span. If you write the dev, you know very well this is the container. You always use to create the container by using this tag. So your container here. Okay. But you know because you are a developer. Okay. If you write like uh, another dev and you write something like this. So these are the non semantics make sure these are the non semantic tags how because these tags not defining its content like if i write the table table close okay now if you are writing tr here and tr close and also inside the tr you write the td like this so this is the semantic element because it's defining its content so a semantic element clearly describes its meaning to both the browser and the developers so these tags like uh, footer and your article so these tags clearly define its content like you use the footer code here and if you are writing some articles, you can define your articles code here. Yeah, so it's very simple and clear. So HTML5 semantic elements are supported all the modern browser. You can also teach your old browser how to handle unknown elements. So if you open some websites, as you can see, this is the shakzi.com. Uh, it's our website. And if you right click and view page source. So now, as you can see, they are using the footer tag. This is the footer tag HTML5 provide this tag. And also they are using the nav. So this is the aside to show the sidebar as you can see. Okay, this is also a semantic element and HTML file HTML5 is providing this element and also they must have the nav. Okay, so they are using the nav and also they are using the header. So this is the header. Let me clear. So So this is the header and also this is the nav and this is the footer and this is the aside. So similarly you can also use your semantic elements in any HTML5 project. So I think this is enough for today. In the next lecture we are going to cover some other topics. So thank you for watching.